Greetings to you. Today we present our paper Deep Reinforcement Learning for Persistent Cruise Control in UAV Aided Data Collection. The paradigm of UAV assisted wireless sensor networks is where a UAV hovers over an environment for a finite cruising time. During this cruise, the UAV can be used for several operations. For instance, it can be used for collecting data from the ground sensors along the flight trajectory. UAV assisted wireless sensor networks have been used over the past decade for enabling several paradigms of Internet of Things such as precision agriculture, disaster management and several aspects of monitoring. This video represents a UAV hovering over a field to collect data. To understand the problem, let us take the example of precision agriculture. Usually the sensors of the ground are equipped with solar panels to harvest renewable energy. In case of rainy weather, this energy harvesting method is not very reliable. A reduced battery level of the ground sensor can prevent the data and the finite buffers from being transmitted, resulting in a buffer overflow. Newly arrived packets of the ground sensors will have to be discarded due to a buffer overflow. For instance, when the network has too many sensors for data collection or when the trajectory of the UAV is not very carefully planned, this can result in the same problem. The only solution to this problem is a careful selection of the ground sensor through trajectory planning that can minimize the packet loss from these buffer overflows. In our paper, we are presenting a flight trajectory planning method using DDPG algorithm. The DDPGCC is based upon deep reinforcement learning that repeatedly learns an action value function and a policy to optimize the corresponding action. To change from a state alpha to beta, there is a cost of C. The experience of the, the, experience of the current state and the next state in the cost is stored in a replay memory of M. And this memory replay is used at every training step of this DDPGCC. Case sample from this experience tuple is utilized with the input states from the environment for the training of our DDPGCC on board. The critic neural network approximates the optimal action value function that calculates the expected accumulated network cost, that is, the overall data loss. So, the idea of the critic uh, network is to minimize the overall data loss. The DDPGCC approximates the optimal actions of the cruise control and the communication schedule. On the other hand, the actual neural network of the DDPGCC generates the actions like the angle and the speed and also selects the ground sensor. The actor policy is updated at the UAV with the sampled policy gradients. With the optimized actor policy of the two target neural networks which are constantly updated on the onboard UAV. The training episodes are carried out in the onboard DDPGCC until a better trajectory is defined in accordance with the environment. Now let us look into some of the results. In this result, we can see the impact of the training episodes on the packet loss rate for different number of nodes. With a less number of training episodes, the packet loss is higher. With the growth of the training episodes, as the DDPG trains the actions, the packet loss significantly drops. By around 300 episodes, we can also eventually reach convergence. We also analyzed on how much of velocity of UAV is dynamically adjusted by the DDPGCC in accordance with sensor deployments. The variation under the normal deployment is smaller than that of the uniform uh, deployment but higher than that one of the circular deployment. The superiority of the uniform distribution is due to the easier data collection than that of the other deployments. From this result, we can confer that the uniform shape of sensor deployment results in a stable velocity control. In this work, we propose a deep deterministic policy gradient based cruise control to minimize the overall data packet loss through online training of the headings and cruise velocities of the UAV. Based on our results, we infer that the DDPGCC algorithm which we proposed will be able to dynamically adapt the cruise control to reduce the packet loss under different deployments. We also experimented on various deployments to verify which uh, kind of distribution would be very much effective for data collection. Uh, the scheme which we provide in this work is only applicable for single UAV networks. However, we believe that this can be eventually a potential candidate where multiple UAVs, a swarm of UAVs are deployed to collect data from the ground sensors and define an optimal trajectory. Thank you.